Hello, friends. It's good to be with y'all again today. Uh, I got a quickie today. Um, probably won't be long, but it's, uh, I think it's pretty important. Um, disturbing, as far as I'm concerned, you know, to some that, uh, that will, uh, will hear it. It's not disturbing because of the time that we live in. You know, not, uh, uh, we just, it's, it's just so different. You know, the, the whole, the whole um, lifestyles of people is really, really different nowadays. And of course, we know if uh, they, they don't always um, go along or follow the course of godliness that they should. You know, um, as a saved man, as a pastor, you know, 61-year-old um, husband and, and dad of three, grandfather of six. And, you know, I have a, a son and two daughters, and I have uh, three grandsons and three granddaughters. And, you know, it's important uh, to me, and I know it's important to their, to their parents. It's important to uh, us to make sure that they understand who they are, who they really are. You know, we're living in a time, y'all, listen to me. And I, I once again, it's, these, these things are kind of hard to deal with. And they get easier as time goes on. I don't have an issue. I don't have a problem dealing with them. But I know that a lot of times you as listeners, listeners will have a hard time dealing with the truth. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible, John 8 and 32, Jesus Christ said, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Um, so today I want to deal with this whole thing with uh, uh, Dwayne uh, Wade's son. They call him their daughter, but in all actuality, he is their son. He's a boy. There's only, listen to me, there's only two genders that God created, and that is uh, male and female. And I'm positive beyond a shadow of a doubt that if they were to take a DNA test of um, uh, his son, that it would show up that he is a male. There's no in-betweens, no ifs, ands, or others. Uh, it's only what people make it out to be. That's what they want. And it's unfortunate, y'all. It really is unfortunate. And that's why I want to I want to start this by saying I'm not I'm not beating on um, Dwayne Wade and his family. But it's unfortunate because see him as a as a star basketball player, very large in the society, you know, you hear me always talk about responsibility. We have a responsibility to make sure that we live our lives so that when people, you know, see us, you know, we, we, we uh, affect everybody around us. You know, how I live as a, as a, as a man, period. Whether I'm a pastor, whether they know me as a pastor or, or a father or a husband, just how I live as an individual, it, it affects other people. You know, if I go out there and conduct myself like a like crazy man, it's gonna, it can affect other people. You know, if I'm covetous, it will affect other people. If I'm egotistical and prideful and arrogant, it can affect other people. If I'm uh, not kind and uncaring, it will affect other people, both those in my family and those outside the, um, the, the walls of, of my home. So the whole thing is, 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 is understanding that, you know, God has a way, has a standard for us to live. And because God is not going to change, and he has called, um, you know, he gave Adam a responsibility. Adam had a responsibility, y'all. Once again, I know that there are those out there that might hear this, and, and you're unbelievers. You believe what you believe. Um, but I, I believe that, that um, God is sovereign, and that Jesus Christ is the Savior, and that the Holy Spirit abides within me. And he's the one that gives me direction. And so when I come on and I have to deal with these issues like this, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate because it says a lot about our society today. It says a lot about an unsaved society. It says a lot about a society that, that loves not God and knows not God, that they want to live their lives the way they want to do. And it doesn't matter what anybody says, you're not going to be able to stop them from doing what they want to do. And that's the time that we live in, y'all. We live in a time like that uh, on, uh, today. So, you know, I, 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 was, I, was, I was sent an article about this, about um, Dwayne Wade and his family, or about his, his son. And, um, and then uh, in, in that, uh, you know, uh, um, this, um, how, how this Zayla, uh, now, um, I, I want to make sure that I'm right by the name, because uh, Zayla tw uh, 12 coming out as a transgender and how much they've learned along the way. So this is his family have come to terms with their son saying that he is transgender, okay? Now, 
um, it goes on to say that uh, she's known it for nine years. And they keep on, they, they're, and they're using the, they're using the termino, termino, terminology she. They're calling this young man a she. That in itself is, is, um, is, is, is uh, not good because if they were to call him what he is, a he, that would probably form his understanding about who he is. Because it goes on to say something very important. It says, okay, she's, uh, she's known since she was three years old. Or he's known since he was three years old. Uh, the 38-year-old said on Good Morning America, along this way we've asked questions and we've learned. Uh, but she's known. Now, Dwayne Wade and his wife are saying that their son has known since he was three years old that he was tra transgender. Now, I want to ask you a question. How many of you out there remember what you were doing when you were three years old? How many of you out there remember the things that you saw on TV when you were three years old? The places that you went when you were three years old? You weren't in school uh, unless you were some super genius. You know, you weren't in school. So how many of y'all remember school? How many of y'all remember uh, going to the park uh, baseball games when you were three years old. How much do you, and you have to ask yourself that because that's very important. Because a lot of times people say that, you know, uh, uh, that, that they've known that they were not a male or they knew that they were not a female since they were a year old or two years old, or, or in this case, three years old. You know, I have a hard enough time. I'm 61 and I have a hard enough time remembering back when I was five. I have glimpses of myself when I was going to first and second grade in Minot, North Dakota. I have glimpses of that, you know, doing that, playing in the snow and, and walking in the snow and playing in snow castles and stuff like that. But, but the, a lot of the detail of my life at, five, at, at first and second grade, I don't remember. I remember better at three and four years, uh, third and fourth grade, rather, when I was living in Jackson, Mississippi, all black neighborhood going to an all-black school in, in the west side of Jackson. I remember those details greater than I remember first and second grade. But up to the first grade, I, look, I couldn't tell you what I was doing up to the first grade. And so they're saying that he is known, their son is known, and once again, you know, they have, they, I don't know if they changed, I guess they changed his name to Zayla because of all the other articles that I read, uh, he's being called Zayla. Um, but uh, this particular, uh, right here on this particular report, it has as K A Y A. I guess that's Kaya, uh, Kaya. So, but they're saying that he's known since he was three years old that he was transgender, and and and, and so you know I can only ask you questions, and I but I can make comment on what the scripture says that there's only two genders, and God is perfect when He created men. He made, created a man, Adam, and then when he didn't want Adam to live alone, he took, put Adam to sleep, took a rib out of Adam, created a woman, and they become, to walk together, they become one, a man and a woman. That's how you procreate, you know? Um, and so it's, it's, it's unfortunate, y'all. It's really unfortunate that this kid has been groomed. He has been groomed by his parents, He's been groomed by his parents because when you're of that age, if you're doing things, you know, like I said, I have a son uh, and I have a daughter, two daughters, uh, and, and I have grandkids and, and, you know, we treat them based on their gender. We love them. We love them both, but the girls are girls and the boys are boys. You know, there is no in between. I, I still don't understand where is the confusion? Because see, you have to understand one thing. These things are taught. These things are taught. People groom, you know. Now, so this, so this boy has known, he says, since, they say since he was three years old that he was transgender. And so they've learned along the way. Uh, it go, uh, Dwayne Wade goes on to say, I knew early on that I had to check myself, he explained. That's what I knew. I knew early on that I had to ask my, myself questions. Wade admitted to being pri uh, privy to discussions about the topic that have been particularly damaging. He goes on to say, I've been a person in a locker room that has been a part of the conversation that has said the wrong phrases and wrong words uh, myself, Wade said. Listen to me. He needs to understand, you know, 
he, he just said it himself. There's things that you can say. There's things that you can do somewhere down the line. Somewhere down the line. I don't know, maybe maybe when his, as his son was growing up, you know, he started watching a lot of these weird, freaky um, stuff that's on TV. Now, I'm telling you something, because you have to watch what your kids, you have to watch what your kids watch. Because there are things out there that can shape and form the mind of our children. That's why it's not, it's not always expedient to let your child spend too much time by themselves in front of a computer, in front of a TV, because they know how to manipulate those things, y'all. And when they see something that they find is interesting this whole thing with um with unicorns now and the and the and the, the bright colors and all the flashing things and trinkets and stuff like that we are kid as a kid you know and in in the time that kids are growing up now there's a lot more out there that's 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 detrimental to their understanding and if you allow your child to see something you might not be around and then all of a sudden your child comes to you and tells you hey look i you know i, I, I think i'm a girl I feel like a girl because I saw something and, and now I know what I really am. It's your responsibility, Dwayne Wade, and it's your responsibility, those of you that are out there that will see this video, to understand that you have a responsibility to your child. And so you ask your child questions, well, what did you see? And what did you see? And, what, and, and when you saw that, how did it make you feel? So what, based on what you saw and how you feel, what do you, what do you think about that? Why? I, I, I think maybe, I, maybe I'm a girl. No, you're a boy. No, you're a boy. You're a little boy. That's what you are. You were created by God to be a little boy, and you were a little boy. Now, what you saw, you might be a little confused about that. And it might be something that you like because it's pretty, it's trinkets to your kid. But you're a boy. Let me, let, me, let, let me show you something. Now, I'm a dad. This is what I would do. I'm going to have my son look at himself in the mirror and examine himself. Have them come to realize what God created. Because there's a difference between this. There's a very distinct difference, y'all, between boys and girls. And I feel so sorry for this, for this little boy because he's been, he's been led to and allowed to um, um, form his own per perception of who he is. And kids, you know, you know what? You know why God gave kids parents? God gave kids parents because if, God, if kids were just born and they, and they were just, just, just without any um, leadership, God, they would do all kind of things. You know, in the animal world, in the animal world, animals are instinctive. They don't have the thought processes that we have. I don't care how uh, the naturalists and stuff try to make it seem like monkeys and orangutans and and all these different groups, how they, oh, they, they think, they think, they have, no, they're instinctive. God created them. And if you are an unbeliever, if you are a free thinker, or if you are an a, a independent thinker and you don't believe in God, then you're going to believe in whatever your mind tells you that you, that is right. Animals are instinctive. That's why, that's why animal babies, when they're born, within a matter of time, you know, they're up on their feet and ready to run uh, for their security, for their safety, they, so they can eat. That's why they live, That's because they're instinctive. God created them to do what they are supposed to do. So they have, they have uh, their parents also, per se, the uh, male and female that, that, that gives birth to these animals. But oftentimes, in the matter of time, these kids are gone. These animals, these little baby animals are on. They, they go out on their own, they hunt on their own, whether they're birds or creeping things, you know, bugs. There's so much good stuff on there that you can find out about them, but they are instinctive. They don't think the way we think. God created us greater than animals. He gave us a mind to think. But when a man and a woman come together in marriage and they have a child, it becomes their, it becomes their responsibility to teach that child how they're supposed to live. To make sure that child doesn't get confused or hurt. You know, uh, um, put their hands in, 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 on, on hot stoves and, and leave them, you don't leave a child Un, un, unwatched in a, a bathtub full of water and you don't let your child run out in the street you know while you're sitting right there and and get run over by a car your children need the direction of their parents and in this country and i'm not going to paint with a broad brush but in this country that type of guidance is getting to be rare it's lacking and our children are being allowed to make their decision of who they are and they're making their decisions on who they are based on what they see and then when you allow transgenders to come into the libraries and come into the schools and you allow them to watch this stuff on TV, 
that you are whatever you want to be, non-binary and all this kind of stuff. Listen to me, y'all. This is, you know, God's going to judge. Oh, my goodness. God's going to, you have, God, you're going to give an account. Dwayne Wade, you and your wife are going to give an account of how you allowed your child and led your child and let your child be formed by things that are ungodly. Because I can guarantee you this, there's not, a, there, listen to me, there's not a, there is not a, a person on the face of this earth that's in sin, that's in sin, that cannot be delivered from that sin, but they have to want to be. And they need to know that they are living in sin and that they want to be delivered. They need to know what thus saith the Lord. So when you don't treat, when you don't teach your, your son or your daughter what God says about them as a male or a female, and you let them go unfettered in a society where all these perversions and all these things are taking place on a regular basis, well, then that's exactly what you're going to get. You're going to get things like this. It's so unfortunate. As I got older, I, I watched my, and it says, once again, daughter, I'm going to say son, grow. I had to go and look at myself in the mirror and say, who are you? Uh, what are you going to do if your child comes home and says, dad, I'm not a boy. I'm a trans girl. Oh my goodness. Listen to me. I don't know about y'all out there, but I don't have the issue now because my son is a man. He's, he's grown and he's, you know, he has a, 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 he's, he has a, a, a wife and children. You know, my, both my daughters are grown there. They've both been married and have um, their children, you know. Uh, uh, and so I, I feel so sorry for people that have to raise children in a society like today, because I'm going to tell you something. If you don't do it right, and if you don't do it God's way, if you don't do it God's way, then you're going to fail. Uh, James, the first chapter, verse number five, it says, if any, if there's any among you that lack wisdom, let them ask of God who gives liberally and upbraid if not. Okay. And of course, you know, the Holy scripture comes to, uh, speak to God's people, but even if you're not saved, even if you're not saved, your wisdom and proof is positive. The proof is in the pudding that that uh, wisdom based on what men want to do and how they want to live, that wisdom is insufficient to, to, to teach what God has created us to be and how he has created us to live. It's insufficient. You, you, you have got to have the word of God in your life in order for you to be the human that God created you to be. And he's not going to make you do it. He doesn't force it on you. He doesn't force the Bible on you. He doesn't force his Holy Spirit on you. He doesn't fo force the belief in Jesus Christ as Savior on you. He does not force you. He wants you to choose. But I guarantee you that if you choose and you choose right and it's in your heart to choose, then you're going to choose right and you're going to do what's right. And you want to and you want to allow things like this to happen to happen. This has been allowed to go on. This 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 young man being allowed to think he's a, a, a girl has been allowed to go on unfettered. And instead of the parents taking up the responsibility of going through um, teaching and, and learning, and make, you know, I don't know if Dwayne Wade is saved. I don't even know if his wife is saved. I don't know them. Listen to me, y'all. I don't know their life. But they're putting their life out in public, you know, by how they're raising their, their son. They're putting their life out in public. They're allowing, allowing him to be photographed. The pictures of him, you know, with this uh, multicolored hairdo, uh, turning cartwheels in in the yard, and, and so proud of it. And if you could, if you Google, you know, um, Zayla, I think is what they call him now, um, uh, Wade, it, it, just picture after picture after picture, you know, of him, you know, dressed like a girl, you know, I mean, acting like a girl. You know, when, when, do, when, do, when do the parents step in and say, no, son, that's not who you are. You're a man. And this is how men dress. This is how men act. And so what they're saying is that, there, is that it goes on to say in here that Wade first opened up about his daughter, his son, coming out as transgender on the Ellen DeGeneres show. And that in itself is not a good thing because we know Ellen DeGeneres herself is homosexual. She's lesbian. You know, and she and she 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 makes no qualms about it. I'm not talking about her. She is what she. Hey, she says she she says she's lesbian. She's a lesbian. She loves. She likes women. She's got a, a husband. You know, wife or a girlfriend or something like that. And she is who she is. And so Dwayne Wade, he goes on her show, and because you know, 
what's going to happen is that they're going to they're going to uh, uh, agree, and she's going to tell Dwayne Wade, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, Dwayne Wade, yeah, your son, you know, your son or your daughter, it, it, it is who she is. And you got to let her be herself, you know, free thinker, you know, um, independent thing. You got to let her be herself. This is just the way things are. Ungodly. Oh man, I feel so sorry for that little boy. I feel so sorry for him because if he was being raised properly, by the time he got to a certain, he, he would know, <coughs> he would know, <coughs> excuse me, how a man is and what a boy is. He would know. But I guess when, you know, when you're not saved, when you don't have that, you know, or you, if you, if you, if you are not a man who desires to see your son grow up to be who you know that he was created to be, even if you're not saved. If you're a man and you know that men are men and women are women, then you will raise your child up to be a man or you will raise her up to be a girl or a woman because you know that this is what they are. This is their DNA. I don't care what they say about him. He is DNA. He is a boy. He's always going to be a boy. If he clips off his genitals, if he grows breast, whatever he does, he's going to be a boy. And Dwayne Wade, you're going to be held responsible how you allowed your son to get the way he is right now. And you might not care. You might not care. And those of you that, 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 are, that, that, that are hearing this, you might not care either. You might think I'm just a crazy old Christian, brow beating again, homophobe. Well, you say whatever you want to say. No, I know the truth. And that's not going to change. Because the God I serve is not going to change. Yes, he's loving and kind. But people think that because God is loving and kind and tender and gentle, that he say, oh, yeah, I love you, so just be who you are. Oh, I love you. Just be who you are. You know, I know I, I created a, a man and a woman, but if you want to be something else, if you're a man and you want to be a woman, or if you're a woman, you want to be a man, then that's just fine. I still love you. Yeah, he does still love you. He does love you. But you know what? He also knows that that's sin. He also knows that, that he has the power to deliver you out of that sin. God has the power to deliver a homosexual from his homosexuality. God has the power to deliver a transgender out of their transgender. God has the ability to, to deliver uh, an adulteress from being an adulterer and a, and a fornicator from being a fornicator. God has the ability to deliver the sick and make them well. There's nothing God can't do. This is not strange to God. This doesn't take God by surprise. But I can guarantee you what? The responsibility of the parents to this young man, allowing him to live his life the way that he is, you're going to stand before God, Dwayne Wade. You're going to stand before God and you're going to tell him, oh, God, well, you know, he said, you know, I just wouldn't. I just I did it because that's what he felt he was. And God's going to tell you, no, no, you should have dealt with your son. You should have dealt with your son with my word. You should have taken the word that I have given, that I've let that I've set down for anybody that wants to know me to come to know me for who I am, because it's in knowing me, Dwayne Wade, that and not me, David, but I'm speaking home at this time. As a third person on God's behalf, it would be God telling Dwayne Wade, if you wanted to know the truth about who I am, I made a way for you. And then you would know how to deal with your son. But he doesn't want to do that. It goes on to say that me and my wife, uh, my wife, Gabrielle Union, we are proud parents of a child in the LGBTQ plus community. And we're proud allies as well. He said on the program, we take our roles and our responsibilities as parents very seriously. No, you don't. No, you don't, Dwayne Wade. You don't take it seriously. Because if you took your role as a parent, said, he must not be saved. Dwayne Wade must, he cannot be saved. Because if he was saved, then he would, knew, he would know that what he's doing is wrong. If Dwayne Wade was saved and believed on Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, then he would know that what he's doing is wrong. And he would do what it takes to rectify it. He wouldn't allow his son to go unfettered into this belief that he is a, a girl and then dress him like that. He would not allow, he would not allow his son to put dye in his hair, put on wigs. He wouldn't allow his son to, to uh, uh, run around switching and, and acting like a little girl in, in, at, at home or in public. He would be bringing his son under the blood of Jesus Christ. And whether you believe it or not, y'all, I'm telling you something, this is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate to watch this little boy being allowed to believe that he's a girl. Because this is what's going to happen. Because he's going to grow up like that. 
if, if somebody, if somebody doesn't come, if he doesn't come to know Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior, if he does not come to know that he's 100% man because his DNA says so, and he lives his life like this, and he rebels against God, then and, and he dies in that unrepentant sin because he's going to get to the age where he's going to hear that what he's doing is wrong. Somebody's going to tell him the truth. Somebody, somebody's going to love him enough because apparently his parents don't. Somebody's going to love him enough to tell him the truth, that that's not who he is. And what's going to happen is either he's going to receive the, the, understand, the knowledge of Christ and be delivered from the sin that he's in, or he's going to die in it. And listen to me, y'all. You'll hear me every time, you know, if, if YouTube takes me off because I tell the truth, well, I'm, I just won't be on YouTube. You know, but the truth is in the scriptures, the Holy Bible says that if you don't receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you are not saved, if you don't believe that he has the ability to deliver you, if you don't repent of your unrepented sin, if you don't turn from your wickedness, you'll die and go to hell. That's why Jesus Christ said in Matthew, the seventh chapter, verse 13 and 14, two of my favorite verses in the Bible, because it speaks of this. It speaks of the time that we're in right now, that broad is the way and broad is the gate. And 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 and, uh, and 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 broad is the gate and straight is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be that travel thereon, but narrow is the gate and straight is the way that leads to salvation. And few there be that find it, because there's a lot of people out there that are that are that are living their lives based on the broad way. They're doing what everybody else says is all right. If the transgender says it's good, it must be good. You know, if, 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 if you want to live how you want to live and, and, and society agrees with you, then it's all right. Because see the thing, see, society doesn't, most of society doesn't agree with God because they're free thinkers. They're independent thinkers. So they don't agree with God. And so they raise, they allow society to raise their children to come into their schools. They allow politicians to pass laws. You know, pedophilia is going to, pedophilia is going to be a, is, is going to be legal one of these days. The way things are going, the heart of man is so wicked that pedophilia is going to be is going to be uh, legal. Uh, uh, bestiality is going to be legal. You know, uh, it's going to be legal, y'all, because that's the heart of man. And it's, uh, if the politicians want to keep getting the vote, if they want people to keep on um, and 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 um, uh, um, putting them in position, then they're going to pass laws that cause the society to gravitate to who they are. They gravitate to them, but they gravitate away from God. Dwayne Wade and his wife, I feel so bad for them because, because they don't know God. Because if they knew God, if they really knew salvation through Christ Jesus, they would take a good hard look at what they're doing and they would repent of that and they would ask the Lord, God, please, God, please give me the strength, give me the wisdom to deal with my son so that he'll realize that he's a boy and not a girl. Lord, I need you to deliver him from whatever that is, whatever the bondage is, whatever he saw, whatever he heard, you know, whatever he felt. Lord God, he, you, Lord God you, you only created uh, uh, two genders, a male and a female, and he's a male. Lord, help me to teach my son that he's a male. Yeah, and I don't take this stuff lightly. That's why I say, look, I, I, I'm not laughing at them. I'm not mocking them. I feel so bad for them. It's so unfortunate. And this is happening all over the country. Dwayne Wade just happens to be uh, 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 alive and out in front because he's allowed it to be. He has no shame in it, you know. And, but there are uh, families that are all over this country that are going through the very same thing. Their son or their daughter is going through the same thing. But they can be delivered. But you have to want to be delivered. You have to want to know the truth that, that makes you free. You have to want to be godly. You have to want to live right. Oh my goodness, it's just so, it's just, it's just, it's just, just so terrible. It's, it goes on to say that Wayne discussed how his daughter now, Zayla, or his, his son, who he shares with his ex-wife, uh, 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 Chauvin, I guess that's how you pronounce the name, Funches, was born with the name Zion and was a male at birth. See? He's still a male, you know, he was born Zion. He was a male at birth. He's still a male. That's not going to change. His DNA says he's a male. He's a male. Now he has come out in order to live his life. So it's, but it says here now she has come out in order to live her life. So Zion, who was now Zaya, okay, who was now Zaya. So I guess the Kaya was maybe a misprint. 
because I all the other all the other uh, articles that I read, it, it, it's called him Zaya. But he was born a male, and his name was Zion. At birth, he's still a male. Dwayne Wade, your son is a male. Your son by uh, by by this other woman that you had, he's a male. Don't know what he saw. Don't know what he heard. Don't know what somebody told him. Don't know what somebody did to him to make him think that he's a female. He's a male. It's your responsibility, Dwayne Wade. It's your responsibility to, to teach him that he's a male, to show him how to be a man. How about you? Are, are you gay? You know, are, are you a man? You know that you're a man. Dwayne, great, great basketball player, man. Just love to watch you play basketball, dude. You know, you, 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 you are, you are, you are a man. But it's, so it's your responsibility to, uh, to be a man. Excuse me, I, I dropped my paper and I, I'm going to need to have it. So just, I ain't going, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just bending down here to get my paper. Right back up there. Here I am. Because we ain't done yet. Because Dwayne Wade, he's going to have to give an account. And we, and, and he needs to understand that God loves him enough to give him an opportunity to get right. Every waking moment to get right and to get right for a son. So it goes on to say, so Zion, born as a boy, came home and said, okay, listen to me, y'all. Okay, now I'm reading, you, you, you can Google this and you'll get this out of, you'll get this from different angles, but it's gonna be the same story. So Zion, born as a boy, came home and said, hey, so I want to talk to you guys. I think going forward, I am ready to live my truth. I want to be uh, 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 referenced as she, and her. I would love you guys to call me Zaya. He recalled. You know what I told my son? I looked at him and I said, you know what? No. No. You're a he. And I'm going to reference you as a he. You're always going to be a he. Because you're a boy. So you come. So, so, so he comes home. So whether, he probably got it from school. He probably picked it up from school. He probably picked it up from one of, the, from, from one of his teachers. Or some or one of his friends. Who is his transgender, or, or somebody maybe teased him? Maybe somebody teased him and told him the way he looks that he looks like a girl. Maybe you know, maybe, maybe somebody somebody's been picking on him, or if there's been some boy hawking him, you know, that wants to that wants to, that that wants to get at him, and cause him to believe that now, well, he you know he wants to get him that bad. Maybe now he now believes that he's a he's a female, and he's willing to let this boy get at him. But he came home like this, y'all. He came home. Zion, born as a boy, came home and said, hey, so I want, I want to talk to you guys. Not mom and dad, you guys. Already, already disrespectful. Already learning bad habits and bad traits. I think going forward, I, I, am, I am ready to, I'm ready to live, uh, uh, I am ready to, uh, going, going forward, I am ready to live my truth. His truth. See, that's the thing. He, does, he needs to know God's truth. And Dwayne Wade and you and your wife and, and his mother, y'all all failed. Y'all all failed because you should have you should have you should have led him towards the truth. And the truth is that God created a man and a woman and that he was born a boy and he's a boy. You should have done that and you didn't. You failed him. You failed your son, Dwayne Wade. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how great basketball you played. I don't care how many people uh, uh, woo you. I don't care about Ellen De 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 DeGeneres and all these other people that will tell you that it's fine with your son. You failed your son, dude. And if you don't get right, and if you don't repent of it and ask the Lord to give you the wisdom how to fix it, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble, man. And, and I'm, I'm not threatening you because the trouble ain't going to You don't have to worry about me. I'm just reporting what I read. I'm just reading the information and I'm just letting you know what does say of the Lord, but you're going to have to answer to God. And, and he's the last one, Dwayne Wade, that you want to stand in front and try to make excuses of why you didn't do right because he knows your heart. He knows exactly what you've done. He knows your thoughts. You might even be afraid to make your son do right because you're afraid that society will tell you, oh, you shouldn't do that. He's a girl. He wants to be a girl. You might be afraid to deal with the truth. Or then, like I said, or maybe you're just... You have no relationship with the Lord yourself that won't allow you to deal with the truth. I don't know what it is, Dwayne Wade, but you, but man, but you, this poor kid, this poor kid has been abused. This boy, this poor kid has been abused. He's been neglected. He has been neglected. His his spirit has been neglected. His his heart has been transformed. His mind has been abused and neglected. He has been uh, um, allowed to 
think things about himself that he should, as a boy, not think. And he's going to come home and tell you that. I would love you guys to call me Zaya, he recalled. Wade is, Wade, also, Wade is also father of son Zaire, who was 18 years old, six-year-old son Xavier, one-year-old uh, Kave, uh, Kavi or Kave, uh, as well as being the guardian of nephew uh, Davion Morris, who was 18 years old. Uh, goes on to say, let's see here. Well, that's pretty much it with that. So, but you see the gist of what I'm getting at. So his son from this other woman has come home and said that, hey guys, I'm ready to live my truth. And you have said, okay, um, Zion, live your truth. What is your truth, Zion? What is your truth? Uh, I'm, you, you're a free thinker. You, you, you've been taught how to think independently. What is your truth? Well, the truth is, mom, dad, that from now on, I want to be, I want you to use um, he, I mean her and she when you talk about me. No more he or him, but her and she. I want you to, from now on, I want you to uh, uh, address me and dress me because, you know, he, he's not old enough to buy his own clothes. Well, I imagine they probably let him pick his own clothes. But, you know, as far as the money to get his clothes, you know, he probably, they get, get some money from him. He just tells them, I want that dress. I want that dress. I want those pants. I want that blouse. You know, I want that color. I want this for my hair or my hair dyed this color. And they say, okay, okay. That's what you want. That's what you want. Man, look at, man, Dwayne Wade, you man, you are abusing that boy. And I, and I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for your family. And I'm praying, uh, Dwayne, that you, because I know I'm older than you, so I can call you Dwayne. I'm older than you. You know, you, you probably wouldn't respect me, you know, as my age because we're not, we're not teaching the young men to respect their elders anymore. Now the young men, they, they treat us elders like, 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 you know, we're dumb or we have no, we have no influence. But, you know, I'm a man of God. And so whether you respect me or not, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but I can tell you this, that you have uh, neglected your responsibilities as a dad. And if nobody else will tell you, you look at Dwayne, I don't know you, never met you in person, only watch you on TV, play basketball, don't know anything about your family, but I love you, man. I love you because God loves you. I love you enough to tell you that if you don't get right, and if you don't get your house in order, and you die where you're at right now, unsaved, you're going to have to answer to God. If I die unsaved, hell's going to be my home. And I know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He doesn't change. So, the, you know, he's not a respective person. So if I die unsaved and unrepentant and I go to hell, then what's going to be your life? What's going to be your destination? What's going to happen with you, Dwayne, and your son, Zion? Because I, I, don't, I, you know, I don't want to be around him because if, if, I, if, I, if I be around him and he comes up to me and he, he comes up to me and I'm going to call him what he is. Hey, what you doing? How you doing, young man? What's going on, young man? I'm a girl. No, you're a man. No, you're a little boy. Look down your pants. Only boys have what you have in your pants, unless you had it wet, unless you had it cut off. You are a boy. Because you go, go, go. Ask the doctor who delivered you what your DNA says. It says in there that you were a boy when you were born a boy, and your boy will always be a boy. And only and boys do what boys do. Girls do what girls do. I'm about done. I had to, you know, like I got that. This is just, this, y'all, this is just so terrible. This is a society that we live in. This is a society that wants to live without God. This is a society that if they could, they would cut my head off. Close me in a, in a box somewhere where they wouldn't have to hear the gospel. But you can get away. You can do whatever you want to do to Christians. God is never going to go away <laughs> because this belongs to him. I belong to him. The air that you breathe, Dwayne Wade, Every morning when you wake up, that belongs to God. It's not yours. And whether you, whether those of you that hear this, believe it or not, you know, nothing that you have belongs to you. God is sovereign. He could just at the, at the, at the, just 
at the wink of an eye, he could change your life. So I just pray that, you know, in closing that, that uh, Dwayne Wade, if you're not saved, that you'll receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you'll go back and ask him to give you the wisdom. You know, you might have to lose family. You might have to lose friends. You might have to do whatever. But just you, your personal self, Dwayne Wade, for you personally, if you get right and then you begin to do what you're supposed to do and to live the remainder of your life here on this earth according to who you were created to be. Because apparently, you know, you're a man because you're siring kids. So you know that you're a man. You know what men do. You know it takes a man and a woman to sire kids. So you know that. So you need to teach your son the same thing. So that when he grows up, he will not be, he won't find himself uh, uh, um, wondering why things got so wrong, went so wrong in his life. And you have to, and you talk about answering people on TV and answering, you don't have to answer to me. But you need to answer to God and then you need to answer to your son. Okay, Dwayne? Hey, I'm through. It's, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, until we come back together again on the next Finish the chapter. God bless you. Take care.